All right, Elaine, thanks so much. China has reported 136 cases of the bird flu and 45 deaths since the virus first broke out in March of this year. Authorities were worried because there was no vaccine to prevent the flu from spreading. Chinese researchers have now announced the development of a vaccine, but questions remain as to whether it will be ready in time for flu season. Grace Brown reports from Beijing. One of the world's deadliest viruses has now met its match. A vaccine against the H7N9 virus has been developed by scientists in China. The announcement being made on Sunday. Head researcher Professor Li Lanjun said they did it by isolating H7N9 from a throat swab sample of a patient infected in April and used reverse genetics to create the vaccine. <laughs> Our new vaccine has been tested by virus institutions, including Zhejiang University as well as Hong Kong University, and it meets international standards. In the past, we used to import vaccines, but now we make them ourselves. So far, the vaccine has passed tests on ferrets, but further testing is required before it is made available in medical institutions. The new vaccine was developed by five Chinese institutions, including the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, marking a breakthrough not just in the fight against H7N9, but also in Chinese medical science. Despite this, concerns have been raised elsewhere in the world as to whether there would be enough of such a vaccine to go around, especially as winter sets in. China saw fewer H7N9 cases during the warmer months this year, with just one reported since August. But new infections are more likely in winter due to a lack of ventilation caused by the smog brought on by coal-powered heating. According to Dr. Michael Osterholm from the University of Minnesota, the global vaccine manufacturing capacity for H7N9 vaccines could be just 757 million doses. But Professor Li is confident in China's ability to meet demand in the near future. We will produce however much the government states. Whether China's vaccine is enough and ready in time to stop the fatal flu will be tested in the months ahead as the mercury continues to plunge. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.